AON4 H and H here, uh, turning on the ham clock, uh, which ac actually this is the HF clock version, self-contained unit. And uh, notice right there, right there, that the version number is in red. That means there's an update. Well, let me back off a second. Bear with me. I want to move my camera so you can see this other screen. Okay, and this is ham clock running on my Windows PC using Ubuntu to emulate Linux. And look, when I log in there, it tells me the, a list of the new, okay, they replaced the Mollywide map with uh, Molly Vida map with projection with Robinson change, force entering setup if any value. Well, you can see there the list of changes. I'm gonna go ahead and click yes and let it do the update. All right, it'll tell you, don't, under, don't interrupt it. And I'm back over here while that one works, I'll go back over here to the HF clock and I'm going to tap, when it's red, just tap it. Oh, I'm trying to do this left-handed. There we go. And it's gonna tell me the same thing. There's a list of the updates um, that it's going to perform. And I can tell you right now that version 3.04 in this particular model, in the HF clock, it took away a really nice feature. Uh, you still have it with the ham clocks, but the HF clock's processor um, is not uh, robust enough to handle the new code. And the reason is, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys in this video, the uh, developer of the ham clock software was uh, somewhat um, threatened by the sysops of the DX clusters. The ham clock was uh, polling their servers just, you know, for so much data. You, you, you guys who played with this know that there's just so much uh, that it does. And let me go ahead and hit skip and skip. And so uh, the code had to be rewritten so that it wouldn't tax the DX cluster servers so much. You guys probably noticed, you know, even in my earlier videos, sometimes it's very difficult to get a DX cluster to, to uh, work and stay working. So the code was changed to be less taxing on those servers. Well, the, the way the code was changed, it requires a lot more processing power and the HF clock, uh, this particular version that I have, the nine inch screen uh, does not have, it's called the ESP model. It doesn't have the processing power to do a feature that we used to be able to do. Tell you what, let me, let me get the camera focused in on it. Yeah, and I will, I'll show you that feature as soon as it finishes generating. Notice I do have the top down scrolling from the, Last update, we now have top-down scrolling. I shot a video about that and in version 3.04. Um, so in other words, instead of the new posts coming in the bottom and going up and coming going out the top, they come in the top and go down. Um, just like they do if you were to go to the Soda Watch page or to any DX cluster page or POTA, uh, page because you know you can bring POTA spots up as well. I'm sorry for my voice. I've I've gone through laryngitis. Uh, this has been going on two weeks. <laughs> I'm getting better now, believe it or not. Sorry about that. Anyway, so what we were able to do in previous versions was see somebody in here in the list and say, you know, tap their call sign and it would plot the short path and down here on the lower left, it would tell us the beam heading, their distance. Um, we'd get their weather up here where VOACAP is. And then when that goal went away, you'd get the VOACAP um, you know, prediction for which bands you would be able to get that station on. That is gone now in the HF clock model. Believe it or not, it'll still work on the soda side. Let me, let me show you here. See, I got the plot there with soda. It's short path to the station here, right here, KT6Y, and 8,596 miles, beam heading 236. Still works on soda, but the way they had to change the code to make the sysops happy that run the DX clusters, 
at least on the HF clock, the ESP model, we lost that functionality. Okay, well, uh, you can pause the video and read the list of um, updates that came with 3.05. I'll probably go back and do that myself because um, that went by real quick. But just wanted you guys to uh, see that there is a new update. And remember, if it, you see it in red, just click it and it'll offer to do the update. Or in the case of, um, you know, like over here on this other one running on Ubuntu, U-B-U-N-T-U, -U -U, Ubuntu, you know, there's an installation procedure you go through to get it running on the, uh, to get Ubuntu loaded onto your computer. And then there's an installation process to get ham clock to work. It's, it's, I've got a link in the video for where you can go and learn how to do that. It's, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a daunting task, but it's worth it because it runs really fast on a PC. It really does. But this is nice having a self-contained unit. It's unfortunate that we lost that um, the ability to do like with soda. See what we can do with soda, but we cannot do it with the DX cluster. Okay, well, hey, thanks for watching videos on my channel. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news for those of you who have an HF clock and you updated it. Um, you know, I, I ask if that can be revisited, if there's anything they can do, or maybe, you know, something that we give up in order to get that ability back. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. All right. Hey, thanks for watching videos on my channel. Please hang around for about 34 more seconds. I want to acknowledge five of the Patreon team members who literally make these videos possible. The little bit of revenue that comes in off the YouTube ads for a, for a niche channel like this, you know, um, with only what, 12,000 subscribers, uh, you know, it's, that, that does not make it cost effective for me to justify my time doing this. So without those Patreon team members, especially the long haulers, and that's who I'm going to be acknowledging, those are the, uh, the Patreon team members who have supported me for a year or two, or even I've got some now that have supported the channel for three years. You literally wouldn't be seeing videos for the last three years were it not for these long haulers. So please hang around 34 more seconds and you will see five of the, the long haulers acknowledged here at the end of this video. Thanks again and 73.